So hello guys welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to see how you can use update record element in order to update records with the help of Salesforce flow right so without any delay let's get started so first of all I am going to create a new flow and I am going to use a screen flow for a quick demo First of all, let me give you a brief or quick overview about update record element. So let's say I open update record element and first of all, you, see, you will see label and API name over there, right? So let me provide a label update account and API name will be automatically populated over there, right? Now you will see a description where you can provide a description okay for what purpose you are using update record element so that if we have uh, some different uh, developer or admin in future he will understand okay what you, this flow will actually doing then we have two option use the ids and all field value from a record or record collection and the second is specify condition to identify record and set fields individually if you select first option right that means you have a record or record collection to update now what is record and record collection let me just tell you if you have a single record let's say you have a single account record and you want to store it in a variable so you need to create a record variable at the same time let's say you have 10 records of account and you want to store those account in a variable you need a record collection so whenever you need to store more than one record in a variable it's called record collection variable in salesforce flow and similarly we have record for only one record right so if you select the first condition here you will see you need to provide a record or record collection variable over there if you select second condition first of all you need to provide which object you are going to update so let's say for now i'm going to update account then you need to provide in accounts which record you are going to update so let's say if you are going to update a specific record so you need to provide a id for that so in field you need to type id and in value you need to provide the value of the id right like what is the id basically then in the set field value for account records you need to provide the field you are going to update so let's say i'm going to update annual revenue in the left hand side you need to provide the field and in the right hand side you need to provide the value so let's say i'm going to update it with ten thousand. sorry one lakh that means whenever this particular account is found with id equals to this i need to update annual revenue to this now it can be anything right let's say I want to update whose status equals active I want to update all the accounts that I have in my org to annual revenue 1 lakh right whose status is or the status of those accounts is active right so that's how it works so now without any delay let's move to the demo and see how we can use update record element in our flow now first of all i am going to use a screen because i am going to place this screen flow over account record detail page where i can simply capture the uh, already populated values of a record right so for that i need some text components right so let me just drag and drop and i also need a number for employees i am going to put uh, some uh, fields in the screen right for example account name account description then account number sorry not number it's number of employees right as you can see these three uh, screen components are basically storing account name account description number of employees 
now i am going to click on done okay i need to provide a screen name so let's say account info and click done now after this i am going to use update record element and typing update account and here i need to select second option because as you know that i have individual fields right which i need to update so i am going to select second option and in object i need in order to select account because i need to update account right and now i need to distinguish which account record i am going to update so as i told you that i am going to place this flow to the record detail page of account right so i will get it from id where id equals now how i can get the data of that uh, record where flow is placed so there is a way you need to simply click on new resource create a variable type account and data let's say record account as object and now here is the thing which is the most important part of this video you need to select this available for input uh, checkbox if you didn't select this you cannot capture any data from your record detail page to your flow so in order to get some data you need that available for input let me just click on done now you will see the data type of the resources you enter is incompatible because account record account store all the fields we need to fetch id from that account record so we can do that by simply add dot and then id so that's how we can fetch id from the account record now what field you are going to update so as i am using account name description and employees in my screen so i am going to type account name i am going to use description i am going to use employees in the right hand side i am going to map with the screen components which is account description sorry not account description which is account name then account description and then number of employees let me just click on done and hit save quick account update and hit save now i am going to activate my flow and now i am going to place this flow over record detail page so as you can see now i am on account record detail page right let me just click on the setting icon and click on edit page so in the left hand side i am going to type flow and place it over canvas this is the old flow let me just cross it down and if i select the first one and here you can see i need to select my flow which i created right so it is started with q so i simply type q over there and quick account update will automatically come now here is the thing which you need to remember whenever you place your screen flow over record detail page and you are basically passing some values from record detail page to your flow you need to select this checkbox which mean pass all field value from from the record into this flow variable right so if we didn't selected any available for input in our flow right when we create a account record variable over there if we didn't select available for input then this option will not be visible over there so in order to pass values from record detail page to screen flow we need to select that simply click on save and let's move back so now you will see that our flow contains account name account description and number of employees but they are not storing the default values so let's say account name should should show dickinson in inc description also whatever the description we have right 
uh, also uh, the number of employees for example 400 now what I'm going to do I'm going to change it let's say I'm going to provide it manually test account number of employees is 500 and if I click next you will see values are changed right Dickens and INC 500 and description as test account right so the thing is in order to provide default values what we need to do in our flow let's move back to flow and move to the screens component and in the default value we need to select count dot name for description same account dot description and similarly for number of employees so now these values are auto populated whenever uh, we check on the flow let's click on save as hit save and I'm going to activate it let's move back and refresh the page So here you can see now values are auto populated right so let me just change this where these values to biggest one plc let's move description and hit next so if i go back to details here you can see account name is plc employees is 400 and if i check the description it is blank right so that's how it works for the separate values or separate fields now you will say okay shubham we agree with you this works fine but the thing is you have one more option which is use the ids and all field value from a record or record collection and in our flow we have a count record variable so if we want to use that first first option what we we need to do so in order to use that first option right we need to use a assignment element to change the account record values so let me just show you what i mean select a assignment element and type change account record now i am going to add the conditions which is account dot name account dot description account dot employee and right inside I need to map with screen components which is account name account description and number of employees so here you can see the thing which we are doing at the uh, update record element level we are doing on the assignment element and simply click done <coughs> now what change we need to do at our update record element first of all we need to use the first condition and under record or record collection we need to select account click done and let me also show you how the values of a record variable changes so let me just do one thing I am going to use two screens to show you before and after values of a account record variable so let's say before now I'm going to use a display text before values of a of an account record variable and here are the values name description employee right and in front of them we are going to use a dynamic variables which is account dot name or description account dot dot description employees account dot
employees let me just copy all okay i will copy the whole screen component provide api name let's say message one click done and now i am going to simply copy this element and going to use after assignment element okay and paste it here now you will see i will make the changes to the naming and all i'm going to make it after and in the this text as well right uh, so here you can see if i click on done and save my flow hit save and let's activate my flow again so this is just to show you right that how things change in our salesforce flow how we use assignment element let me just refresh the page so here you can see right current uh, record values are dickinson plc 400 and account description is blank right so let me just change account description as test account plc to inc number of employees to 500 right and hit next so right now you can see that account variable store the current values of the record which is plc description as blank and employee as 400 right when i hit next the value i provided in the screen components right it changed to those values dickens and inc test account and now it's 500 right let me just click on next further and this time it will update the values so that's how it works let's uh, check one more time the flow of the videos right the flow of the flow first of all we get the values of the account then we get the what are the before values of the account record values which are the original one then we change those values then i show you how what are the old uh, new values which after changing and then we simply update the account now here is one thing you will say shubham in the beginning of the video you say that we also have this feature right fields beta 1 so maybe if i didn't mention now i am mentioning it that we also have one more feature which is fields beta and with fields beta our flow will be more easier more uh, simple right let me show you delete this let me also delete these uh, elements and you you will say okay shubham you also deleted that assignment element right i will say yes because if we are going to use fields beta feature right we don't need that assignment element at all but what the drawback not a drawback it is in a beta state right but it is just uh, fields beta feature will not uh, showcase all the fields or supports all the fields basically let me just show you uh, so first of all you need to select your record variable over there so let's say if you want to show case values over there case record over there you need to select account over there right <clears throat> as i as i need account values over there so select account and you will see account field values over there let me just drag and drop account name you can simply type description and the third is employee so you can see how fast it is we don't need to type any label no not populate any api name and we did not un, and we did not even provide the uh, default value right so that's how it is done simply you need to click on done and save as hit save again and activate your flow and if i refresh it again so here you will see if i change it to plc again test account as blank and employee as 400 and hit next here you, here you will see values are changed now right so that's how we done with the help of fields beta feature it is quite good we can create a uh, big big screens uh, within a couple of minutes right so it's uh, i personally love this feature so whenever it is uh, generally available or i can say uh, without uh, beta one right when we have all the fields into this uh, fields beta feature then it's going to be super good so for now uh, we cover in the update record element that how you can use a record variable in order to update how you can use individual fields to update the records 
for record collection variable i am going to create a separate video you can say uh, part 2 of this continuation series right so this is the first video of update record element then after this video i am going to create one more video for update record element uh, with the use of collection variables or record collection so for now thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much